So guys I'm back with videos on YouTube. Also this is an iVoice. I hope you like this vid. Speed running Roblox. It all started when a 13 year old Preston joined Roblox. He was a boy who was passionate and wanted to make a popular game. Pause, I will just skip to the part where he made Pet Simulator because I'm too lazy. I hope you understand how lazy I am. At the 7th of April 2018 Preston made Pet Simulator. In the game you would have to earn coins, buy stronger pets and get a strong team of pets. The game was not repeatable because Preston would update it. But Preston then made Agam Pass of Infinite Pass, which was a 40k Robux. That was expensive but YouTubers like Russo loves spending Robux for a square pet game. Because his first pet simulator game was very popular he made another game. In the 4th of February 2019 Preston made a pet simulator too which made everyone hyped. But that hype was just a waste. Time to know why it was a waste. Pet Simulator 2 had better graphics but was too much pay to win. And because Preston would make big worlds then it was. Hard and took too much to meadow make another big world with good graphics the game became reputable. Making the players bored. So then Preston discounted a new game. The time I'm editing this video Pet Simulator 2 has to player. I wonder why it's called to when it has to players. At January 22, 2021 Preston made a pet simulator X. Unlike his other games he made the map smaller so. It doesn't takes a lot of tomato make you worlds for an update. I think the best year for the game was probably 2023. The game would update weekly and whenever it updated the game would reach more than a million. Players crashing Roblox several times and breaking records even outside of Roblox. Then Preston told that why update. Weekly with small updates when you can update in less than a month with bigger updates. This made the player shop too. But when you give them er, craps. This popularity then many things can happen too. Preston would add a game pass in April Fools of Infinite Pets. For one ok Rob you x dot it was cheaper than Pet Simulator but you would on legged it for 72 hours. This made the players angry because that was too much expensive for just a game pass. Preston then added a single huge pet for 20k Robux, which was not the strongest pet in the game. There was an update of mines, which you could unlock to get diamonds easily and the last area used to sacrifice a huge pet. Imagine if a kid would just get a huge and seize the area and sacrifices the huge but the diamonds the area gave the kid in a day was hardly 20k. That was not fair and then a very expensive thing was added to the game. Preston added a titanic plushie with a code that you can use to get a titanic pet which was bigger and stronger than a huge. The plushie was for $349.99 which was too expensive for just a plushie with a code. This maddest players mad so Preston medite for $249.99 which was still expensive. Then just a few months ago Preston started DMCA strike. Games with a square pet and said that he owns the idea of a square pets in a game but that was not true. There was ton a trend boycott big games in Twitter. From this much hate, Evriana stopped playing the game, so the game died from being any of the biggest games and Thine turned it to being dead. Preston, after failing his three games, was then probably thinking of quitting Roblox until Pet Simulator 99. We all thought that Preston will quit Roblox and work at McDonald's with small net worth, but when you have great motivation. You can make something great. Preston made his fourth game and it was great. And you can check it out right now because the hunt is happening right now and Petsim99. Has an easy badge that you can get after reaching area 20. This is now the end of this video. Peace out.